The House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on the Volume of Daily Fuel Consumption has summoned the Group Managing Director of the NNPC, the CBN Governor, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, the Accountant General of the Federation, and others. This follows the refusal of these major stakeholders to honor the invitation to appear before the committee despite receiving an invitation from the committee's clerk. Emmanuel Ehigine's report is presented from our studios. The ad hoc committee on the volume of daily consumption of fuel was set up secure to a motion sponsored by Honorable Sergius Ogun at plenary. Part of its mandate was to investigate and determine the daily consumption of fuel in the country. But the absence of critical stakeholders like the NNPC, NPA, CBN, AGF and even the Minister of Finance alongside her permanent secretary at the hearing, infuriated members, including the representative of the Speaker, Honorable Peter Akpatterson. It is not acceptable to the Parliament that people, organizations that are saddled with the responsibility of managing a critical assignment like the distribution and accounting for the distributed and sold, uh, sold uh, PMS in this country will be reluctant to come here to do their duty. Your job is not only to go to your office and do whatever you do, but you have to also come out and respond to the call of government to show accountability for whatever that you are doing as an agency of government. Even if you are a private organization that is also participating in the process of distribution, you must be accountable. So we want to see this attempt by critical stakeholders to absent themselves from this, this investigative hearing as an attempt to frustrate the effort of the committee. Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, NETI, Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasan, and other affiliated labor unions, Federal Road Safety Commission, National Association of Road Transport Owners, and the general public. Mr. Speaker, the reason why we had this long list of invitees is as a result of uh, initial engagement we had with some of them. And of course, we had some capacity building, twice, one in Abuja and one in Lagos. That was where we came to the conclusion that we need a holistic participation in order to have input from a wide range of uh, participants in the oil industry. The Oil Corporation of Nigeria the paying agency, which is the CBN, the PPMC, and all of those are not here. What data, what facts can we get from those who are also onlookers or contributors? It must first come from them. In a nation where we have an annual appropriation of about 17 trillion, and we're spending over 6 trillion on subsidy alone, almost half of the nation's revenue, and nobody takes this seriously. I'm not too sure whether we want the nation to succeed or whether we want it to go completely under. And we must take these things very seriously. However, the committee still went ahead with the proceeding after the intervention by some members, advising that the legislative time should not be wasted. It then gave time to agencies like Ibman, Dabman, Governors Forum and Organized Labor to make submissions. Mr. Chairman, I want us to look at how many of us who have traveled from far and near to be here, how parliamentary man hour is very expensive. I want to put some amendment to the motions moved by my colleagues to say that a few of them who are legally here, Mr. Chairman, we can take them. But those who are here and do not have the capacity to represent their bosses, Mr. Chairman, I want to ask that those, we cannot take them. But as Nigerians, Mr. Chairman, they can sit down, they can watch, they can listen, they can be part of what we are doing, but they may not be able to give any evidence that will be acceptable by this committee. The committee thereafter adjourned with no appointed date to reconvene. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.